everyone, it's Abby with The Bead Place and beadplace.net and today I'm gonna be bringing you along with me as I make this really cute pair of mixed metal, mixed media earrings with a mixture of rivets and eyelets. So let's get started. So as always, just a reminder, uh, everything that you need to make this beautiful pair of earrings or glasses adornments um, can be found at www.beadplace.net and the links will be in the description below. So today I'm gonna to be using a mixture of tear cast hammer tone links and our smooth round links. I'm also using two two inch cuts of our vinyl bracelet strap. So of course I'll need scissors and a hole punch pliers to punch through it. I'll also need a Sharpie and a tape measure. We'll need a hammer to set the rivets. You can use any hammer you'd like, but this one's really cute. We also have a four millimeter rivet setter, an eyelet setter and anvil, and a setting block. We'll be using four millimeter two part compression rivets and eyelets. We'll also need two chain nose pliers, eight millimeter ID jump rings, and earring bindings. The first thing that we're gonna do is measure and mark two two inch cuts of our upholstery vinyl. Cut straight across with a sharp pair of scissors. Make sure to pull away any loose threads or frays from the back of the vinyl. Place the vinyl through the rings for a dry fit and then use a Sharpie to mark where you're going to punch the holes. Use a 1.8 millimeter hole punch pliers to punch holes through the doubled vinyl on the marks you've made. If you have any exit wounds or hanging chads on your vinyl, just use a flush cutter to easily trim off the excess to make it clean so the rivets can go through smoothly. Set up your setting block so that the nipple side is down and the smooth side is up. To start, we'll set the male side of the rivet in the center of the anvil and set the female side off to the side. We'll be stacking the components on the male side of the rivet first. After you've layered your vinyl on the male side of the rivet, take the female side of the rivet, place it on top, and gently press down. Now we'll be hammering with a four millimeter rivet setter. If you don't have a rivet setter, you can hammer directly on top of the rivet, but the rivet setter gives it a nicer domed finish. Hold the rivet setter straight up and down on top of the rivet and hammer away. So now that our rivet is securely set, it's time to set an eyelet, which is a completely different process. Since finished eyelets look the same front and back, it doesn't matter at all which side we put it through. Front to back or back to front, just put it through the hole. Next, we'll flip the anvil around so that it is nipple side up and we'll place the eyelet right in the middle of it. It needs to be exactly centered, otherwise it will not be pretty. Now, we'll take the eyelet setter and hold it upright right in the center of the eyelet. Next, you'll hammer while tilting the eyelet setter in a circular motion using a technique that I like to call the tap and tilt method. You're actually flaring the top of the eyelet out to match the bottom. Now we'll take two chain nose pliers and we will open our eight millimeter ID jump ring so that we can slide it through the eyelet of our earring. Then we will take those two same chain nose pliers and close the jump ring so that the join is smooth and flush. Now normally what I'd do next is use a jump ring to attach the jump ring that I've already added into the earring finding so that it would hang in the right direction. However, since this earring is already so long, what I've decided to do is actually twist the loop on the bottom of my earring finding so that it will hang in the correct direction. So we'll grab the earring finding right above the loop with one pair of pliers. Make sure that you're bracing the tail end of the earring finding as well. Then what we're gonna do is take another pair of chain nose pliers in, grab across the loop, make sure to grab the entire loop and just rotate it until it is perpendicular to the earring finding. So now what I can do is open the loop on my earring finding just like I normally would. So twist it open like a jump ring and I'm going to attach my earring into it and then close it. Now we'll just need to repeat these steps over again in order to have a finished pair of earrings. Thanks so much 
much for watching everybody. What I wanna know from you is have you ever set a rivet or an eyelet before? So let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. Um, add it to your favorites if you'd like, share it with your friends. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, everything that we use today will be linked down below. You can find it at beadplace.net. If you really liked watching this video and wanna see more, uh, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on so that uh, YouTube will tell you when we post new videos because we post new videos all the time. So um, yeah, I, I really appreciate you joining us today to make a pair of earrings. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.